I was really excited to come back on part two because part one had been such an exciting experience. Um, but I thought that I was ready for it because I'd done the first film, but it was nothing <laughs> like the first one. Um, it was just as memorable, uh, but it was such a bigger movie. Um, and we only realized it as we were making it that this, the, sca the scale, the scope was so much bigger. Um, so I would say that I was excited to come back and um, ready for what was coming. And it ended up being more exciting than I had expected. Javier Bardem is incredible in this film. He is the father, the uncle, the friend that everyone wants. He plays um, a father figure to Paul, uh, and he's a religious believer in the Lisan al Gaib, which is you know the one who will lead them to paradise. But he also has a very, um, he's also very funny. Um, I think Stilgar is going to surprise people and I think people are going to fall in love with this character more than ever. Dave Padista is one of <laughs> the most generous actors. He will do anything Denis throws at him in a script. Uh, we had him hanging midair uh, out of an ornithopter. He was running through uh, war-filled fields, desert um, fields. Uh, he really would, he gets, his character gets humiliated. Dave Bautista really just went all in. Having Stellan come back, he was um, experiencing the full prosthetics transformation, but with the experience of the first film, uh, they were able to shave off a few hours of prep time. So instead of six to seven hours in the chair in the morning, he was maybe spending four to five. The character that Charlotte Rampling plays is the Reverend Mother Mohayim, and more than ever, even though she's in the shadows, she truly is the one who is pulling the strings of power. Hans Zimmer is always pushing the boundaries of music in general. He, um, for the first film, wanted to create new instruments, um, to create the sound of what music would sound like in 10,191. And on this one, he wanted to push that even further. Uh, and therefore, he developed and created new instruments or used uh, some pre-existing instruments but transformed the sounds to make um, the compositions and pieces just sound otherworldly. And he accomplished that. 100% um, were more immersed in Gaiety Prime, this very dark planet. We feel that in the music. He really embraced the DNA of the music from the first film, um, but expanded it and, and created new textures that are surprising, but also familiar. It's very artfully done, obviously. I hope audiences enjoy the ride. This film was designed with having an experience in the theater, to feel the adrenaline of going on a sand ride, of fighting the Harkonnen, of fighting um, the Sardaukar. And we worked really hard on this film, and it was very satisfying work, <laughs> but we felt the adrenaline when we were on set. And I hope that people sitting in the theater will experience that same, um, that same feeling.